According to the National Defense Industrial Strategy of the Department of Defense, there's a significant push to ramp up the production capacity of 155mm artillery munitions by the U.S. Army and its industrial collaborators. Led by the Joint Program Executive Office Armaments and Ammunition, JPO A&A, the aim is to achieve a monthly production level of 100,155mm artillery projectiles by 2025. To expedite and broaden this production effort, the Project Manager Combat Ammunition System, PMCAS, within JPO A&A organized a 155mm industry summit on January 16 at Picatinny Arsenal. The summit was designed to inform industry partners about the technical specifications and program planning required to meet this goal. During the summit, Major General John T. Ream, the Joint Program Executive Officer Armaments and Ammunition, expressed appreciation to the industry for their assistance in executing $2.8 billion within the industrial base during fiscal year 2023. He emphasized the ongoing nature of efforts to modernize and fortify the U.S. defense industrial base. This fiscal year will be another significant year as we see the returns on those previous investments and focus on other priority industrial base requirements, Reem noted. Together, government and industry teams are seizing a historic opportunity in this generation to rebuild the arsenal of democracy. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, the United States has provided substantial support to the armed forces of Ukraine, including 155mm howitzer systems and ammunition. The U.S. contribution of over 2 million rounds of artillery has been vital in bolstering Ukrainian defenses and aiding counteroffensive operations. In response to the heightened demand for ammunition, JPO A and A swiftly implemented measures to enhance production early in the conflict. These measures included adding extra shifts, bolstering supply chain resilience, and targeted facilitation efforts. Presently, the U.S. Army is producing 30,155 mm rounds per month, doubling its previous output of 14,000 rounds before the conflict. Moreover, plans are underway to construct and activate new production facilities to further increase production capacity. The summit fostered collaboration among key DoD stakeholders such as the U.S. Army Contracting Command, PMCAS, and the Project Director Joint Services. Discussions at the summit covered various aspects of munition production, including loading, assembly, packing processes, metal parts, fuses, propellants, primers, and associated materials. Colonel Leon Rogers, Project Manager for PMCAS, emphasized the importance of industrial collaboration to the nearly 200 industry partners in attendance. This collaboration is crucial not only for ensuring production capabilities but also for rebuilding the national stockpile. Indeed, expanding production addresses immediate demands and strategically enhances the military readiness of the U.S. and its support for allies.